53 and 3 score in a division of the kindergarten series. They're set for a start. Often pacing in a good beginning in the center. Horizontal is fast out of there for Filion as he calls on her for sprinting speed off the gate. From the inside is Treacherous Penny to pocket up. Third away from the pole, left out always be a star. A tucked in fourth is front page story. There's Charleston, who is fifth away going into that turn. Early trailer is Reggae Hanover back in six. So a comfortable early pace. And it's being set by Horizontal as she sprinted out to grab the lead. She's on top in 27 three. Treacherous Penny second. Always be a star third. Front page story. Tracks along fourth inside. Charleston the fifth one. And two more to trailer. Reggae Hanover. Field across the back stretch. And on the way to three eights they continue to race single file chasing Horizontal. Horizontal leads by just over a length. Treacherous Penny. Always be a star. Front page story. Charleston and trailer Reggae Hanover. Still no action. And they're almost at the midway point. They're there. 56 and two. Second quarter of 28 and 4. Horizontal leads to the far turn. Unchallenged thus far. Treacherous Penny's right there in the pocket spot from in second. Always be a star. Front page story. Charleston has to sprint now as Dunn sits ahead and Charleston is quickly gaining on the rim. From the pocket comes Treacherous Penny now. She's on the attack going after Horizontal. They're in sprint mode going to three quarters. Horizontal with the lead. Treacherous Penny up to rattle her chain. Right there third is Charleston, a menacing presence on cover three quarters in 124 and three horizontal leads the way tested by treacherous penny charleston launched off cover now three wide for the drive and they're into the final eighth of the mile battling on his horizontal outside of her is treacherous penny way out wide comes charleston and the favorite charleston will sail on by charleston pretty automatic off that trip she won it by a wrapped up length horizontal was second treacherous penny third front page story fourth in 151 and three What an impressive performance there. Ended up being a nice trip, but it was just the way that Dexter was sitting on her. Didn't even call on her, didn't ask on her. She did all of it. She's going to have a lot left for the final. Oh, absolutely. You know, just uh, just race fantastic. I love the way Sylvan raced horizontal. I think he did everything right. I think he... System two and limited starts. This the sixth start of her career. She has never been worse than second. Now a five. Five time winner for trainer Brad Our first uh, She's a Great Lady elimination is in the books. Uh, Dexter Dunn guiding Charleston to a victory and off the pace win in 51-3. and three. Uh, Dexter, you drove the filly with supreme confidence tonight. Uh, obviously, you knew you were sitting uh, behind a good one. Yeah, she's um, obviously a really nice filly and, um, you know, really fast. So, you know, with uh, James's one out of there, we got him right in a pretty handy spot, not too far back. And, um, you know, she really rallied good. Were there any concerns about the early fractions? Uh, no, not really. I was just quite happy with them, to be honest. Um, like I said, we weren't too far off the speed, and, uh, you know, she's showing some pretty good speed at the end of the miles, and, uh, you know, like Brett said, she's just getting better each week. She's starting to tighten it down, so, um, no, she was, felt great the whole mile. And many were anticipating a, a showdown with Save the Last Dance. Uh, when that one was scratched earlier today, did that change your approach at all? Um, you know, I probably did it, you know. If she was in there, I obviously wouldn't want to get away uh, too far back from her. She's such a nice filly, so... Um, you know, it, it helped us out a little bit. It's a shame for the connections and a big cult, but, um, you know, it worked out for us tonight. And we're just getting started. We've got our first Metro elimination coming up next. Uh, you'll be sitting behind one called Golden Greatness. What can you tell us about this colt? He's actually a really nice colt. As, as, uh, he won really strongly at Midlands last start, and he's got a good draw tonight. So, um, yeah, see how he, he matches up against these good ones. But, you know, he's, um, he's, he's not as probably as bad as some of his early lines look in his races. A busy dance card, uh, as always, continued good luck. Thanks, Ed. That's Dexter Dunn scoring in her first She's a Great Lady elimination with the favored Charleston.